Okay, folks, Machinery Pete here at the 2019 National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. And of course, always fun to come down and see all the big new equipment, walk around the show. But I tell you what, every once in a while, you run across a new solution that really stops in your tracks. And that's what we've got here today. We want to introduce you to the folks at Protexia. And we have Benjamin and Elizabeth Ome. Yes. With Protexia here. And guys, thank you for uh, inviting me out. And boy, you have quite an exciting uh, story to tell with uh, Protexia. Let's let's go back to the start here now. Benjamin, Protexia was started years ago in France by your family? Yes, so we are a family of business. My father started it about 30 years ago in France, yeah. where I'm from originally. And our U.S. branch, Protexia, started in 2016 here in the 2016. U.S. Yes, for, okay. the, for the agriculture business. Okay. You came over to the U.S. Uh, happened to meet Elizabeth here. Very unlucky for him. And you guys now happily married. But boy, exciting story. Why don't you tell people that the product we're talking about at the show here today with, the, with this amazing bale wrap and the problem that it solves. Yes, well, it all started about five years ago in France uh, when my father was talking to our neighbor. Uh, we live in the countryside. And he was telling us that every year he had to buy uh, more hay that he needed, wrapped hay because he knew that he was going to lose some to birds, bird attacks, that okay. poke holes in the plastic, sure. letting oxygen go through, and then wasting the bait. Uh, so my dad started thinking, we started talking about it, and uh, we came up with a solution that didn't exist before and that uh, responded to that problem. It's uh, an eco-friendly additive that is totally safe, non-toxic, that repels birds and rodents, and that we put inside of the plastic inside of the bell wrap and, and that effectively repels uh, pests, namely birds, rodents, raccoons, from the bales, uh, protecting your hay and saving the farmer a lot of money. Okay, now I, I, can, uh, I, I think we all understand the problem, the birds and the mice and the raccoons getting into the, into the bales, but now getting the chemical into the wrap. Uh, Elizabeth, talk about that. I mean, how, how is that done? So we actually put it into the bale wrap, the bags, and the covers, and it's put in during the extrusion process when the plastic's being made. And that makes sure that it doesn't migrate onto any of the feet or onto your sure. hands or anything like that. It actually becomes part of the plastic's DNA, and it works for two years. So you can rest easy, put your stuff out in the field, and feel good about it for as long as you need. And now again, the product itself is new, right guys? I mean, it, mm -hmm. you, you worked on it for how many years? Well, we started working with those additives in 2007 and, wow. and starting, uh, started producing this uh, bell wrap film for agriculture in 2014. So it took seven uh, years to kind of make the idea into reality? Exactly. And, uh, and then we started selling it in France first, because that's where we are from originally. Yep. And we actually have offices in nine countries now. And we have exclusivity over in the world for this okay. uh, for this product. So, uh, your your country, mostly European countries outside of the U.S. and Canada. Uh, yes, exactly. Okay. European, Western Europe and uh, Eastern Europe a little bit, and we started in the U.S. for this product in 2017. So yeah, fairly new. So Protexia, this bale wrap with the chemical uh, repellent, new to the U.S., just a year old here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Elizabeth, is it is it okay? Can I ask you? I mean. I don't, I'm not much of a chemical engineer. What, uh, what are the chemical, what are you using to do what this is doing? So it's 150 different essential oils that are put in there to repel certain birds and rodents like okay. mice, rats, raccoons, cats. People have said it works against pigs as well, but wow. uh, it's been very, very effective. We have uh, a year in the U.S. now where clients are coming back and saying, I didn't have the tags. I, my animals are healthier, I feel better about what they're eating, and I saved a bunch of time because I wasn't out there, you know, fixing bales or grain bags that had been attacked and all that kind of right. stuff. So that's another thing that we started doing after we saw the success for the bale wrap. We now also put it in bunker covers and grain bags, silage bags. Sure. Because those are the plastic that are uh, really protecting high value feed and right. that, and that uh, pests want to have access to. And these days, as tough as our economy is, if you can achieve any savings, that, that's what it's all about these days, right? Absolutely. And protecting what you have and protecting your animals. Right. Now, I understand we actually have someone else to bring into the conversation here. 
This is uh, is Colton Bailey. Yes. And Colton, you, you're from Fort Wayne, Indiana um, area? 30 minutes north of Fort Wayne. Yep. Okay. And you're actually a customer and now also, I don't know if you'd say a dealer? Yes. For Protexia? Yep. So tell us, uh, how did you get involved with, with, the, with the bale wrap? Last, was it last year? Yes. So our main problem, we've always wrapped a bunch of hay and we've always, you know, our farm's kind of near woods. So we've always run into problems with lice getting in it sure. and just ruining because we tube wrap and it ruined you know the whole tube. Right. And we've been looking for a solution for a long time, and we met this and saw this at this show last year. Okay. And what I was your gut to, level? Did you think it was too good to be true? Yes. Uh, kind of hearing what they had to say and saying that there's a organic you know uh, material in it that actually repels rodents. And only using six layers, where most use eight or ten, it just seemed it seemed something that's too good to be true. Okay. Um, so you you jumped in and you tried it in 2018. Yes. And tell us about the results. So we wrapped it all uh, using the agar repel, and we did the six layers, and we stacked it near the woods and near hogs actually to kind of really test it, and. We wrapped about 300 bales and opened about 150 of them so far. And before we opened them, we checked to see if there's any holes from mice or rodents. And we haven't had one hole or tear in any of the bales. So it's kind of uh, doing exactly what they said it was going to do? Yes, it was, yeah, did exactly as it was advertised. So you were so pleased with the result that, now tell us what happened next. You actually now kind of are, are repping or, or selling the product. Yeah, so we start, you know, wrapping it, and with it's a, a greenish color. Mm -hmm. So people in my neighborhood kind of start seeing that that wraps green and not white. He said, "What the heck is Colton doing?" Yeah, exactly. They're like, "What is that?" So you know, they kind of checked in with us, trying to see what it is, and you know, I started having a lot of neighbors wanting to try it, and they've really liked it, and. We just kept ordering more and more, and eventually they asked if we wanted to be dealers. Nice. And I was happy to accept it. So. Well, there you go, guys. A success story in uh, Northeast Indiana. Um, <laughs> that has to make you guys feel good that the product is performing just like you designed it, huh? Of course. It always feels very good to hear uh, testimonials from customers. Uh, we love to have feedback from everyone, especially with a new product like that. Yep. And I'm glad to say that everyone is really satisfied so far. So. Now, Elizabeth, I know there's a lot more engineering involved here. You were telling me before about some of the finer points with, with the wrap. Uh, so, so, Protexia has the amazing chemical solution, the repellent, but also, why don't you tell us what else you guys have done here? It wouldn't make any sense to put uh, an ingredient like this in a wrap that wasn't dependable. Our wrap is already high quality. Uh, you can usually get by with six layers of it. We have a unique glue that if you just even put your hand here, your hand's going to be sticky for a while. Yep. Sorry about that. No, it's all good. Our cores are beveled at a 45 degree angle so that you load it right on your wrapper. It doesn't damage your roller. Okay. Our boxes have an indicator on the top of every one so you never load a roll the wrong way. They're also perforated so you never have to cut into the first few layers of your plastic with okay. a box cutter. Little things like that will save you a lot of time. Little things make money the difference. Out there. And it's not going to rip while it's on your wrapper. So you're not going to have to get on and off and on and off. Right. It's a good product, and we're happy to be able to add the additive to it with our factory in Finland. Oh, that's and, and that's where the additive comes in in Finland. Yep. Are you saying? At Ronnie Plast in Finland. Yes. Okay, which I understand is quite a, a massive uh, operation over there. That's yeah. a very big factory, and all of their products come from the same place. So okay. quality control is very important for us and for yeah. them as well. So. All of our uh, products are always dependable and always the same level of high quality. Okay. Now, you guys, were you getting many questions on, uh, okay, like Colton was saying, and boy, that sounds amazing, but are there people wondering what the chemical mix is, or? Uh, we have some people, most people just want to know that it's safe to handle, right. and it's safe to feed your animals. And, and essential it, oil, a mix of essential oils, you were saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm around it all the time, I'm pregnant, and yeah, don't it's completely worry. safe and harmless. But apparently mice and raccoons and birds, they just don't like it. Yeah. Well, that, that's pretty cool. Very cool. And Colton, on your end, were you getting a lot of questions from people on the, on the chemical aspect? Yeah, I had I had a couple, you know, they, they had the same question as I did, does it actually really work? Right. Because um, I know some of the other people who were near woods, they kind of had the same problem with, with rabbits sure. even. 
and they were like, does it actually really work, you know? And I was like, you know, what we've used, it is working. And they gave it a shot, and it's worked for them too, so. Very cool. You know, Elizabeth, you were talking a little bit earlier about, uh, you know, maybe some of the mold that normally just historically gets in through the wraps, and the, you know, need, folks need to account for that loss, plus just the animal health, versus what you're delivering here, to more pure uh, you know, feed. If oxygen gets in and you're feeding your animals mold, you have a risk of them having a multitude of health problems. Their yield will go down if you have dairy cows. Uh, they can have issues getting pregnant with their fertility. They can have skin issues with their feet. So you really want to protect what you're feeding your animals because the food, uh, it affects more at the end of the day than anything. You right, know? right. Very cool. Well, guys, now, if people are interested, and I know they're going to be interested, where should they go? To, to either find out more information or purchase the product? So you can call us, 1-800-935-3011. Our yes. website is www.protexia-plast.com. Okay. There you go, folks, protexia-plast.com. And the 800 number right there. And you guys are also on Twitter or Twitter and Facebook? Yep. Yes. Instagram, too? No, not Instagram. Instagram. Oh, we need to get on Instagram. That's all right. We'll catch up there, but I know uh, I follow you guys on Twitter and Facebook and really exciting product here. And hats off to you guys for what you've achieved. Thank you. And uh, yeah, just wish you the best of success. And uh, Colton, you think you could give me some pictures and video from out in the field? Yeah. And show me those uh, these, those bales with no, no damage on them and everything? Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, you have pictures right here? <laughs> oh yeah, let's look at them. Let's look. Those was I think you had, you had some pictures too, didn't you, about oh, yeah. the difference on the on the bales? So here is a customer that wanted to. Uh, he tried many different types and really wanted to test the strength and the glue. So he is wrapping corn stalks. All the plastic that he's tried before, it would always puncture right there on the corners. Uh, once he switched to this, he never had it happen once. That gets back measurement too, though. To the high quality plastic that you guys wanted to and needed to have in this product. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. And good if you soon. want, the uh, towards the end here, when he goes to stop the wrapper, you can really kind of see the stretchiness and the glue really take action. With a lot of your individual bales, you got tails flopping around, and you know it might start unrolling itself. But this, it comes back and sticks to that bale, as you saw there. So you never have those tails flopping around. So that gentleman was pretty pleased with that result. Yes. Okay, what do you got here, Elizabeth? These are bags, and as you can see, this bag here is riddled with bird attacks. Yep. Deer getting in. Deer following up the birds, probably. Oh, yeah. And this bag, a Euro bagging bag, zero attacks. It's making new. Doing, there you go, folks. Not too often you find stuff these days that does exactly what it says it's going to do. But again, hats off to folks at Protexia, Elizabeth, thank Colton, you. Benjamin. Thank you for thank uh, you. doing what you do. And again, that website, protexia-plast.com. Thanks, guys. Ram Trucks, premier vehicle of Machinery Pete TV.